What's up, guys? I wanted to just basically say farewell to a fluid head tripod here and kind of tell you my thoughts on it. This is the Orion TriTech 2. And I got this about six months ago from Amazon. And at that time, it was their Amazon's Choice tripod. It was like, uh, for a fluid head, it was like $75 or whatever. Um, it goes up. I liked it because it... it pretty affordable but it goes up really far i think it's like 64 inches or something like that it's got a hook on the bottom so you can secure it so basically here's how my experience went with this thing um the fluid head motion of it all worked pretty well uh, after you'd use it very much the dials and stuff would loosen up some you'd have to kind of play with it every once in a while but it was very doable. I had no issue with the fluid head motion. The only issue I had with this thing was the plate that goes in right here to hold your camera on. So you screw that on your camera, slide it in, <clears throat> and the only way to lock your camera on is with this little knob. And all it does is push out on a little metal plate that pushes against the plate your camera's on. See if you can see that. So, focus. Oh. So all that does is barely push out. Guys, I don't know if I was doing something wrong, but I could never get this to, to like lock tightly. Um, you can only, that's all the movement you have in that knob. If you try to pull it up any tighter, it's going to break. I actually had the top of it fall off once. So I would get my camera in there, and I would think it's good, and then I would tilt the fluid head up, and the whole camera would slide forward. Now, it can't fall out because it's got this, this red lock, so it won't come out, but it still moves back and forth. That was a freaking pain, and uh, that was my biggest complaint. It was just a really bad way. And uh, I've since upgraded to a different uh, tripod. And the, the reason I upgraded was because my son was actually driving one of his Power Wheels cars at Christmas and hit this tripod and broke this piece. It's a plastic piece that goes from here down to the bottom. So now this clamp won't work or anything. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to keep this thing laying around and maybe... Uh, tape it up and use it as a studio tripod that doesn't get moved or you know transported anywhere but i have a king joy now that uh i'm gonna try it was about the same price 75 or 79 dollars and just from glancing at it, it seems to have a lot better setup on the top for locking your camera in it does not seem like the camera can go anywhere so i'll post a video up of that as well and uh yeah, just wasn't super pumped with the top setup on the uh, Orion Tri-Tech 2. It should be mentioned that my favorite thing about it, too, was these clamps. They are big. They, are, they work pretty smooth. They're easy to grab with your hand, pop, and put back down. That's the, the best clamps I've used on any tripod yet. So, uh, yeah, cool. Just my, uh, my thoughts and experiences on the... Uh, Orion Tri-Tech 2. Alright guys, thanks for watching.